let's build another data pipeline using logstash now for input we will use a file in this case and our file is a comma separated file okay and it has a list of some movies downloaded from imdb database okay and after we run the log slash we want this file to be loaded into elasticsearch in its own index okay so let's open the terminal okay under log slash directory go to example number two now here let's open the csv file first let's see what's in there so here you can see we have some records related to movies okay and the first one is avatar director name so and so forth okay so it has few records for some of the top movies uh, downloaded from imdb okay and all these records are separated by comma right so let's go back and let's look at our uh, configuration file okay and it's uh, csv2es.conf now here in our input section earlier we had used standard input okay and now here we are going to read from a file and that file is on your local system not on sdfs okay so we will use input type of file okay and here we have to specify these parameters the first one is the path and it is the absolute path to your input file okay next is you can name that file as anything so this is our movies file so we we name it movies okay next is the start position we want logstash to read this file from the beginning we can control this using some other values but for now we just want to read the entire file so we'll start from the beginning okay now next item is the filter okay now in filter we can transform the data okay we can add or remove some columns we can also change some values within the data also uh, there are a lot of functionality that can be achievable using logstash and i recommend you to go over some of those tutorials available on logstash uh, website okay uh, for now since we are dealing with csv file and csv files usually have headers we are going to name each of the column in csv file and that's what we are doing here so when this will be sent over to elasticsearch elasticsearch will use exactly same column names okay then we are also specifying that the separator in our case is a comma all right so in your case if you have some other file with a different separator you can specify it like this next item in the filter is mutate so here we are saying remove field and we have given three column names okay so if you remember when we load the data on Elasticsearch, it also adds some metadata with it, okay? And when working with Logstash, it stores the path, host, and also some kind of message within the index. And we don't want this in our case. So we are removing those three columns, okay? Finally, we want to save our output to Elasticsearch. And in this case, we have added some more attributes, okay? So we want to index. If the index is not already existing, then create the index and we have specified the host you don't need to specify the port if it's the only host running and 9200 is also the default port for uh, Elasticsearch so you can skip that if you want and I have just removed it so you know that this can also work without the port okay lastly we want to specify the index if you remember last time our index name was automatically created by Logstash okay but what if you want to control it you can do it you can name it anything you want and you can also use some parameters uh, out of your field values okay so in our case we are just going to use a timestamp and logstash uh, understands these values of date parameters like yyy mm and td okay and finally we are also putting some debug message on the screen for us to know that the process has loaded the data into Elasticsearch. All right, so let's go and run this. And if you also want to 
create some kind of log file you can do that by using minus l parameter and the directory where the log file should be saved so let's run it and again before you run your log stash as we are going to save data in elasticsearch make sure that elasticsearch daemon is working okay all right so looks like it already finished you can see the debug and it has shown all the fields uh, we had sent from log stash to elasticsearch okay so let's go to our browser and open head plugin and in there check our new index as you can see we have a new index created and it has a date as specified and uh, it has about 25 uh, documents in it all right so let's go and uh, check these documents in our browser and go to your index log slash movies and there you can see all the fields we had sent from the file to Elasticsearch okay so you have created a new data pipeline using a file log stash and Elasticsearch okay I see you in the next class